Howdy, Earthlings. It what is today? What is today? I don't know what today is. Bus goes by. There's a lot of traffic. Howdy, Earthlings. Today is Tuesday, March 7th. Not March, it's April. Howdy, Earthlings. Today is Tuesday, March. Why do I keep saying March? It is not March. It is not March. It is April. April, 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 April. It's very awkward vlogging outside with the people and the... Yeah. Hello, Earthlings. Today is Tuesday, April 7th, 2009. You are watching Adam the Alien. I am Adam the Alien. And I has a flower for you. I have no idea why I was speaking in lolcat. Have you ever noticed on YouTube and on the internet as a whole that it's a lot easier to get internet fame, or subscribers, or whatever you want to call it, if you lack a Y chromosome? Now, it's long been known that uh, if you have cleavage, it will get you more views on YouTube. And certainly the very concept of a female on the internet tends to bring forth the same sort of reaction as seeing a girl in a comic store or a gaming girl. And that reaction often looks something like this. You have boobs. <laughs> you're, you're a girl. What's a girl doing here? Boobs. I guess what brings this to mind is that today I encountered someone who had just joined in January and already had like 150 more subscribers than me. All I can hope is that girls, women, females of various ages and boob sizes use your power. Use your power to help the little ones. Use your power to pimp the penis. In fact, that's what I'm gonna do right now. Back home in Oregon, I was friends with this guy who is currently going by the name of Switch. He had a column in our college newspaper which focused on c trying to change the perception of gamers as social outcasts and dangerous people. And I, personally, I applaud him for this because that was one of the perceptions that always dug at me, especially with people like Jack Thompson out there attacking video games as making people violent. Video games do not make people violent. Violent people may use video games, but that does not make everyone who uses a video game inherently violent. It's like a square is a rectangle, but a rectangle is not a square. Or something to that effect. Personally, back in high school, when I had a lot more rage, Playing video games like Quake 3 at the time was a wonderful way to vent all of that rage so that it did not turn into real violence. In any case, Switch and a few other friends of mine started a podcast a little while back going along much the same theme. The podcast is called Dangerous Kids. You can find it at dangerouskids.net and I'll also be putting a link there or there or there or there or there or wherever you're watching this. It's, it's somewhere. It's in the description somewhere. I don't know. I highly recommend giving it a listen. Dangerous Kids has become one of my favorite two podcasts. I have two. Just two at the top. I listen to a lot of podcasts, but just two stand out. The other, of course, is DFTBA Radio, the nerd fantastic music podcast. And that's all I've got for you today. Check out Dangerous Kids, give them a listen, and don't forget to pimp the penis. Fare thee well.